guys! So look! I think I sorted it out. This looks kind of nice, right? Yeah? Kinda. It'll do for now. And since I've got a new setup, I thought I would start by doing some questions for you guys. Since that's something which I haven't really done on this channel, and most YouTubers seem to do, so... Hey, why not give it a shot? The questions that I'm answering haven't been sent to me by, like, anyone on YouTube comments or anything, or by anyone in particular. I just found this really nice set of, like, interesting questions, and I thought, hey, that's a little bit more fun to watch, or at least it could be a little more fun to watch than just, what's your favourite colour? What's your star sign? What's your... birthday? Meh. So, without further ado, let's begin! Okay, so the first question is, when did you last sing to yourself? Alright, so I'm one of those annoying people who sings to themselves, like, constantly, but since it's quite early in the morning, or early for me, it's only been an hour since I woke up, um, I think the last time I sung to myself was last night, coming home, just belting out Bon Jovi songs, like, all the way down the road, it was great, that was fun. Uh, yeah, that was probably it. Love my classic rock. Next question. If a crystal ball could tell you the truth about anything, what would you want to know? See, as much as I love conspiracy theories, I don't really care or believe any of them. Like, as much as it would be cool to know what actually happens behind Area 51 and behind uh, Pentagon and stuff like that, half of the great truths that could be revealed to me I probably wouldn't understand, nor would it affect me mainly because all the big mysteries happen in America. But at the same time, I reckon it'd be kind of cool to know, because then you could be like that crazy conspiracy person, but you actually know what you're talking about. Then again, I think they all kind of think they know what they're talking about, and I would sound exactly like them, so if I knew the truth, I guess I'd just turn into a raven lunatic. Hmm. I don't know, I reckon it'd be cool to know what actually happens behind there. Just out of curiosity more than anything. I mean, I'm never gonna be able to use this information for anything. But, but it'd be funny to know, I guess. <laughs> Next question! What is the greatest accomplishment of your life? See, that's a difficult one for me because I'm 18 and, well, almost 19, on Friday, by the way. Um, but it means that I haven't really done an awful lot with my life. I mean, I haven't really done anything that requires awards. Unless you got like, the Year 8 Participation Award that I got in Karate, which I don't. Um, yeah, I haven't really done anything that's award-worthy, but I guess the biggest accomplishment that I've achieved was making this channel. And I realise that sounds kind of lame because this channel isn't even that great, but it means a lot to me that I've actually, like, started it. Because for about five years, I think, before I started this channel, I really, really wanted to just, like, make something and put something out there. And, I mean, I've looked up to YouTubers for, well, forever, really. And, I don't know. I think it's cool that I finally managed to start it and finally managed to, like, build something. And I kind of love it. Like, it's nice that I've made a thing and as tiny and adorable as it is, it means a lot to me. So I think this channel is probably my greatest achievement so far. Next question! What is the first happy memory that comes to mind? The first happy memory that comes to mind... Uh... Oh, um... I guess it'll be what happened last night, actually, or yesterday? I think it was last night. But um, what happened was uh, a guy from my university, he messaged me, and he's in a couple of my groups, but I haven't really spoken to him, like, face to face or anything, or at least not a proper conversation, maybe like a passing comment, but uh, I didn't really know him. And he sent me a message asking if I was Kessia Tempest, and obviously I was like, Yes? Um, I assume you found this by the links I put on Facebook, because how else would someone from my university, which I just joined, know me anywhere else? And obviously that was a bit weird to me, because my name on Facebook is Kessier as well, so if he'd seen me post my own videos, then surely you would put two and two together, but, you know. Anyway, I was flattered, so I was like, yeah, that's me, um... You found it through that, right? And he replied, no, that's not actually how I found you. And I was like, oh, okay. So after waiting a little bit, he got back to me and explained that he'd actually found me when I had my one of my first videos up. Like, what he had done was he picked 10 YouTubers that all have, like, one or two subscribers or, like, three or four or something and put them all in a hat and picked one to subscribe to. And that one, I guess, happened to be me. So he's followed me since then, and obviously my channel has grown, and he's watched that, which is cool. But 
then we happened to be going to the same university as well. I don't know, it just made me feel really happy because like obviously I have a very very tiny channel and I was recognised by someone and by bizarre coincidence we happen to be going to the same uni now so that's really weird. I don't know, that's the happy memory that comes to mind for me. Just this really odd coincidence that has just, yeah, it cheered me up a lot. Not that I was in a bad mood, it just, it really made my day. And yeah, I guess that's my happy memory. And lastly, number five. If you had a bucket list, what would be the top three things on that list? This is quite a difficult one for me because I'm 18, I don't really think about the future all that much. And I dread to think what I wouldn't have done by the time I'm actually a functional adult who needs to make one of these lists. I don't know, I've done a lot of the generic things that most people have on their bucket lists, like swim with dolphins, go on a speedboat, go to Disneyland, like, or Disney World, because I keep on getting yelled at that they're very, very different things, apparently. But if I were to do a bucket list, I guess the first thing on the list would be to do an AIM program, uh, which, for those who don't know, is kind of like a, a three-year, I think, a three-year mission trip. It's a couple of years of um, mission work that you do overseas somewhere, so like Australia or America or somewhere. Um, it's kind of just like training and something. I'm not entirely sure what it is, but it would be a cool experience to spend a couple of years in a different country and, I don't know, just to experience what life is like for other people in other places. But yeah, I guess that would be one of the things on the list. A more generic one would probably be to uh, go swim in, like, you know how you see all those pretty hipster pictures with like the, um, the pretty blonde girls jumping into uh, the base of water fountains, not water fountains, waterfalls, and just like the really picturesque, pretty, like, landscape and the trees everywhere. I reckon that'd be cool. I want to be a generic blonde girl jumping into a waterfall. Because it's pretty. And it's a thing that I always associate with like going on adventures and doing crazy things in crazy places. So yeah, I don't know. I reckon that would be definitely one of them. And lastly, I don't know, maybe something with YouTube, I guess? I mean, it'd be really cool to like reach a thousand subscribers or more if I could, but I don't know. I'm not sure if that's really a bucket list thing because I can't help the amount of people that subscribe or I can't help the amount of people that enjoy watching these dumb little videos, so I don't know, I don't know if that one really counts, but maybe like doing a video with someone that I look up to, like there are a lot of YouTubers that I follow and I very much doubt that I'll ever meet any of them because they're all in America. But yeah, I reckon if I could put that on my bucket list, if that was even remotely realistic, then yeah, I reckon that would be one. But I guess we'll see. Anyway, that's it for this video. I realise this one's been a bit of a calmer one, uh, probably a bit less interesting than a few of the others, but I want to put these ones in here every now and again because it gets you guys to know me a little bit better and it breaks up the pace of the videos a bit, so I like doing these ones, even if they're not the most entertaining. But yeah, that's it for this video. Bye!